How's it going everyone? It's Sam. Is Solana the Ethereum killer? Well, we are going to go through the numbers, look at Solana versus Ethereum, look at how high Solana can go compared to Ethereum if it catches up to Ethereum, giving some different price points that it could go to, showing you how many X you could get in return for it. And someone famous in the space just commented on this. So we are gonna talk about it, also go through some of the news happening in the crypto market today, look at some price action, and tell you how to get one year's worth of interest on your crypto in the next three days. So I'm gonna show you something that uh, I think a lot of people haven't broken down before, but I wanna show you here on the channel because it is pretty cool. Now, if you guys don't mind hitting the like button, hitting the subscribe button, I appreciate that. If you guys wanna share this to anyone that you know that likes crypto, feel free to. I really do appreciate that too. Also, there is a link underneath the video in case you wanna see what I'm buying and selling down in the Patreon. We've been having so many people join uh, over the last couple of weeks that I have to keep on opening more spots. So if you wanna check that out, I will make sure there are spots open. Now. This seems like the calm before the storm. We talked about why the market went down yesterday, but basically there's some fear, uncertainty, and doubt. There was also some leverage in the market. And honestly, it's crazy how much we've recovered. So we are right back at 65,000. Like we were here a week ago. Ethereum went right back over to 4,700 within like $100 of its all-time high still. We also have BNB within one or 2% of where it was just the other day. And you go down the line, sure, Cardano's down maybe 5% or so, 10% since it, just a few days ago when it was at $2.30. But overall, the market is looking good. And overall, we're back to $2.85 trillion. Like if I told you this two weeks ago, we would be excited about this, which is awesome. Now, I did say that I would show you a way to get one year's worth of interest in a few days. And that's actually through BlockFi. So they're running these events where you can get, uh, you can get, Bitcoin, depending on how much you trade. So they just ran this and they gave everyone an equal cut, cut of five Bitcoin, no matter how much you put in or how, how much you bought or sold. But now you get an extra ticket for every hundred dollars. So it changed a little bit on this one, but I actually did a test. I just, I bought like a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin and I just got the reward and it's 0 0.0001 Bitcoin, which Hey, that might not sound like a lot, but that's actually like six and a half dollars for a hundred dollar trade, which is 6% interest. So if you guys want, they are doing another one of these. So I'm guessing they might do more in the future. Uh, with this one, if you buy more, obviously you'll get more rewards. If you buy less, you'll probably get a little bit less rewards, but I just made like a year's worth of interest on that hundred dollars that I just bought. So if you guys wanna check out the link underneath the video to BlockFi, they also pay an interest rate. A ton of people are signing up for it right now. I think a lot of people are excited about some of the stuff that they're doing. So if you guys want that, there is a link underneath the video to get a bonus. But let's take a look at some of the other news. Uh, Discord shutters plans for Ethereum integration after community back clash. So that tells you maybe how strong Ethereum is right now, that they were talking about integrating this on Discord and they basically shut down all plans of it. The, the guy says, thanks for all the perspectives, everyone. We have no current plans to ship this internal concept. Uh, sounds like a lot of people are worried about scams, fraud, spam, and all that kind of stuff. But just a few day, days ago, we were talking about this and revealing that this could you know, push to a huge audience and we would gain a lot of new users in crypto and they shut it down and it's not affecting Ethereum's price at all. So you can look at it from the positive side, glass half empty or glass half full. Now, Polkadot parachain auctions, before we get to Solana and Ethereum, they started today. And honestly, I think we already know who won the first parachain auction. So what they do is they actually take a random snap, uh, random snap shot at any time in this auction and they can see who won at that point, whoever had the most crowd loans. So right now it looks like Akala has got the large lead. They've gathered over 600 million and counting. Now, with that being said, their, their sister chain, I believe it was, uh, already won one on, on Kusama. So their DeFi project Carreru, C Carrera secured a pair uh, parachain slot auction in Kusama. Now, Maybe that tells us, hey, uh, Akala is going to win this one and then Moonbeam is going to win the next one because Moon River won the other pair chain slot auction uh, over on Kusama. So that is interesting. Obviously, Akala looks like they're going to win it now. Maybe if you want to get in on that, might uh, you might still have time. And then also you can look at Moonbeam if you haven't done that already because, again, their sister chain also 
uh, got a pair chain slot before on Kusama. Now, let's get over to the meat and potatoes, Solana versus Ethereum. Why Sam Bankman Freed says so Solana will be Ethereum to adoption. Now, he is a big Solana bull. This is the guy that owns or started FTX. He's probably the richest person in all of crypto, at least the richest person that we know of. Of course, there are some people that uh, we just don't know how much they have. But he says that Solana will be Ethereum. He says Solana was one of the few blockchains with a roadmap to scale millions of transactions. He went on to say that Ethereum and most blockchains are not focused on scaling, which to be fair, Ethereum has pushed back Ethereum 2.0 a handful of times. The biggest upside for Solana was its ability to handle an enormous amount of users and transactions. So Solana can handle 60,000 transactions per second at less than less than one cent per transaction. So just basically a tenth of a cent per transaction, while Ethereum can only handle 13 transactions per second with a cost that can hit $1,000. So when you look at it from that perspective, sure, that is crazy how expensive and slow Ethereum is, right? And that is most likely why, while Ethereum has done well recently, Solana has done even better this year. You can see that Ethereum has done well at five, uh, about 6x for the year, but Solana has done way more than that at basically 130x, if I'm reading that right, for the year. So Solana has done extremely well, and a lot of people are saying, hey, it is going to be the Ethereum killer. Now, a couple of things that kind of work against Solana. First of all, if you haven't looked into it, a lot of the people that hold Solana are whales. So they have a circulating supply of 301 million tokens and a non circulating supply of 200 million sold. Additionally, addresses that have holdings of 1,000 Solana or more, so about 235k they're only 1.4 percent of the total addresses on the network now a lot of big vcs also got in on this early like chamath and a couple other vcs here they have a significant amount of solana most likely too and it is more centralized than ethereum with that being said though you have to realize that there are different times to use different networks so I think they kind of hit on that here, Solana, Ethereum, killer, or compliment. But basically, it, saying that Solana is going to be the Ethereum killer is like saying that PayPal is going to be the wire transfer killer, right? No one says that. No one compares them because they're used in different situations. I think Ethereum makes a lot of sense for certain transactions when you need extra security, privacy, that kind of thing. But Solana makes more sense if you are using it in high transactions, right? No one's going to buy NFTs for $5 on Ethereum, but they might buy that on Solana. Also, Ethereum will have Ethereum 2.0 and become deflationary. Also, they do have layer two solutions like Polygon that can drastically help with the fees and basically cut out all fees. So I don't think that Ethereum is going to die or anything like that, but I think Solana will continue to do well. Now, with that being said, they think uh, that FTX CEO, uh, Sam Bankman fried thinks that Solana will catch up to Ethereum or will do really well versus Ethereum and gain mass adoption. So I want to run the numbers. I want to run the numbers on how high Solana would go if it passed Ethereum and market cap. So right now, a lot of people think Ethereum is going to is gonna hit $1.2 trillion by the end of the year. So we'll compare it to that. But if Solana went up to where Ethereum is now, so from this $71.5 billion market cap up to 561 it would go up to $1,850. Now, I don't think that's going to happen in this bull run, but maybe next bull run, we'll have to see. But if it went up to $1.2 trillion, so if it went up to where Ethereum would be $10,000, so let's say Ethereum goes up there and then Solana meets it, it would go up to about, about $4,000. So that would be a 17x from where it is now. So Solana at $4,000 would be crazy, but hey, crazier things have happened. A year and a couple months ago, Ethereum was at the same price as Solana. And then if we go up to Raul Paul's end of year prediction around $20,000, we could see something like a 33X if Solana were to reach that, which would be around $8,000. And then by the end of the cycle, if Solana were able to reach Ethereum, where Ethereum goes up to 40,000 and then Solana meets it somehow, and maybe that's, maybe that's next cycle. If it could get up to where Ethereum is the same market cap, as Solana, we could see something like a 67X, which would be around 
for a, for a soul token, which is just crazy to think about, but it is something that's possible. Who knows what will happen next bull run? Of course, that would be a very large market cap, but it would be the same as Ethereum at that point. It would be like a $5 billion market cap. So it's not, or a $5 trillion market cap. So it's not crazy to think that in five years that could happen or four years, but I don't think we'll get there quite yet. I think it will take time. And I think there are benefits to both Ethereum and Solana, but I wanted to bring this to your attention. I realize that some people wonder, hey, is Ethereum dead? And I really don't think it is, especially if they are able to scale up to layer two. Most, most people work still on Ethereum. Most of the total value lock is over on Ethereum still, not Solana. But let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section. Definitely check this out too. Just a heads up, if you if you sign up with BlockFi, this is only valid for people that get the emails, but I'm guessing they're sending out to as many people as possible. But uh, you do need to get this email to be entered in there. But like I said, pretty easy money here, $5, $6, just for a $100 buy, not bad at all. And they do give you interest and in other things too. Uh, so that's really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.